How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to find the first unique character in a string in Java. So if you look at our problem description, it says given a string, find the first non-repeating character in it and return its index. If it doesn't exist, return negative one. So just as a quick example here, we have the string s, the word is leak code. So in here, there's no unique, or excuse me, there's actually one unique character, it's an L. Um, and that's the first unique character in the string, so we're just going to return the index zero. So now, as another example, we have lovely code as our string. We're going to return 2 because 0, 1, 2, v is the first unique character in the string. So now if we jump down here to the actual problem, we can start formulating a solution. So the first thing that I always like to do um, is typically have some error checking, but I think in this case, we'll probably be fine if we don't have it. So let's start talking about how we can solve this. So we're trying to keep track of things that have occurred and if they've occurred once, right? Because a unique character will only occur once in the string. So I'm thinking a hash map is probably a pretty good candidate for our data structure. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a hash map. So it's a hash map character and we're gonna map it to an integer. We'll call it map, we'll set it to a new hash map, character, integer, Awesome. So now we have our hash map, and our hash map is going to map from a character to an integer, so from a, an alphabetical character to its index within the string. So now what we want to do is we just want to iterate through the string. Well, i is less than s dot length, i plus plus. Now we want to check the two conditions, right? So either we've seen the character, meaning it's in our hash map, or we haven't seen the character. So if the map contains the key and we're going to make a variable also here actually character current and we're just going to set this to the uh, current character on by saying s.char at the ith index so if our map contains the key or let's say rather if the map does not contain the key so if the map does not contain the current character we are going to put the current character in our map at the ith index now, this is the interesting part. So if we've seen the character before, so we're in our else clause, meaning the map does contain the key, we wanna invalidate this index. So now that we've seen the character for a second time, we wanna somehow invalidate the character because we know it can't be the first unique character in the string because the, you know, the character isn't unique, we've seen it before. So what we're gonna do to invalidate it is we're gonna put it in the map again but we're gonna put it at negative one. So now any character that has already occurred in the map is going to be is going to map to the uh, the number in the, uh, negative one. So what this will say basically is it's saying it's not a valid character, it's not unique. And the reason why negative one is good is because negative one is not a valid index in Java. So if we see negative one, we know that oh it's not a solution, it's been invalidated. So now at the end of this loop, we're gonna have a hash map that will look something like this. So A might map to one. This is a random string, right? So I don't know what the string would be, but maybe A maps to one, maybe B maps to three, maybe C uh, is invalid, so it would be negative one. Uh, I guess actually this would be, yeah, sure. So that could be three, so meaning A has occurred at the, uh, the first index, B has occurred at the third index, and C has occurred more than once, which is why it's mapping to negative one. So now, let's say our string was ABC, something, 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 who cares what it is. Now, let's say this is just what our map looks like. We want to return one because one has the lowest index uh, that corresponds to the letter A. So now all we really need to do is we just need to loop through our map and we need to basically figure out, hey, what is the smallest number that any character maps to? Because that will, again, represent the index that the, the character was seen at, that will give us the first unique character in a string. Cool. So we're going to make a variable to store the minimum or the smallest thing that we've seen. So because our goal is actually to return its index. And if it doesn't exist, we return negative one. Cool. So let's make a variable called min. So this is going to represent the minimum index that we've seen a unique character at. And so to start, we're just going to set this to integer.max value. And so now we're going to go through every character 
in our maps key set. So now all we have to do is check if one, the thing that the current character C maps to is smaller than our minimum that we've seen, which is starting at the max value, and if it's valid, right? So if it's a valid number, or rather a unique character, it can't be mapping to negative one. So we're just gonna have a quick if statement. So if map.get C is greater than negative one, meaning it's, it's unique, and map.get C is less than our min, then we could set min equal to map.getc. So now at the end of this loop, we should hopefully have the correct minimum value. So now the last thing we need to check is, right, if this thing hasn't changed at all, then that means that we don't have a unique character at all. So if it doesn't exist, meaning the first unique character does not exist, meaning all characters in the string are not unique, then we return negative one. So we could just use a ternary operator and say return if the min is equal to integer dot max value, if this is true, then we want to return negative one, because that's what our problem statement says. If there's no unique character, then return negative one. Otherwise, we want to return what our minimum actually was and what it ended up being, because that will represent, again, the first unique character, the first unique character's index. So now if we submit our solution, let's let the judge judge it. Awesome, so it's accepted. So let's check out the details. Okay, so we passed 100 out of 104 test cases and our runtime is a bit slow, but again, this will kind of fluctuate um, randomly. So sometimes I'll submit a solution, it'll be faster or slower. I'm not really too sure why. Um, maybe if you actually submit this again, it might even be different. Maybe, maybe not, but either way, we're using a hash map to find the first unique index of a character. Yeah, so now we're at 39%. I don't really know how leak code does this. But anyways, guys, that's how you find the first unique character in a string. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.